Okay, so in case you guys didn't know, Alex Smith, quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs, just got traded last night to the Redskins for a third round pick and corner Kendall Fuller. Now you're probably wondering, Sticky, how does this affect the Texans? Oh, I'll get into that later. But first, let's talk about the trade in general and who are the real winners of this trade or who the real winner is. So, Alex Smith, you know, not a great quarterback, not elite, but also not bad. I'd probably put him above average range. So, a third round pick and a young promising corner for Alex Smith, when you look at it that way, just that trade, I'd say... The Redskins won. But when you factor in everything, you know, the fact that the Redskins already have Kirk Cousins, who is better than Alex Smith, and instead of paying Kirk Cousins what he's worth, they decide to go Alex Smith. Yeah, the the, the Redskins are stupid. They, they probably end up losing the trade because Alex Smith is like 30-something. He's old. Kirk Cousins is just about to be 30 but quarterbacks don't enter their prime till they're at around 30, so. They're pretty much screw themselves over. The Redskins. Like, I don't know why you don't want to pay Kurt Cousins. It, it, it makes no sense to me. He's your franchise quarterback. Franchise quarterbacks don't grow on trees. Not only that, but you also gave up a third round pick and a young promising corner. Yeah, the, the Redskins are a franchise that is pretty much going down the drain. Like, not paying Kirk Cousins will do that for you. Like, a franchise quarterback, he's a good quarterback, and you choose not to pay him. And especially in a division where the Eagles are on the rise, the Cowboys are also there, and the Giants might get back on track next year. Yeah, it, it's, it's kind of obvious that the Redskins don't care about winning. Now let's talk about the other team with the trade. The Chiefs. Uh, again, franchise quarterbacks don't grow on trees. The, the Chiefs, they, they just pretty much handed the division to someone else. Because the, the Chiefs are not getting back to the playoffs. The, the Chiefs, yes, they got a young promising corner in Kendall Fuller. But wh who's your quarterback? Patrick Mahomes, he he sucks. He's a guaranteed bust. Like, you guys know how I feel about Patrick Mahomes. If you've been watching my videos for a long time, I think Patrick Mahomes is a bust. He has all he has is his arm strength. Like, you can't win games just based off pure arm strength. If you could, then Ryan Maddox would be a franchise quarterback somewhere. So would Brock Osweiler. So the Chiefs just kind of by trading Alex Smith, they, they just assured everyone that they won't be back in the playoffs for a while until they actually go get a real quarterback because Patrick Mahomes is just a guy that throws the ball up there and yeah that's all he does like just arm strength he's not all that accurate he's not all that smart that that's a stupid trade in both of the team's parts now who's the winner of the trade the Denver Broncos. The Denver Broncos won the trade. Why? Well, I think now it's obvious that the Redskins are letting Kirk Cousins go into free agency. And if you guys have been keeping up with the news in the NFL, the Broncos are trying to get rid of Aqib Tlaib and Demarius Thomas. Why? To go get Kirk Cousins. It all makes sense now. The Broncos are going to go get Kirk Cousins, and I think that's the ideal landing spot for Kirk Cousins you know people are throwing out the Jets he's not going to the Jets throwing out other places but Denver makes the most sense because Denver is built to win now maybe Vance Joseph isn't the right coach but with a good quarterback anything can happen now I know some people are throwing out what about Jacksonville Jacksonville is in cap hell Jacksonville is going to be the same team for the next three to four years they can't do anything with the amount of cap space they have so, the Jaguars are going to be forced to stick with Blake Bortles. So, again, 
the Redskins screw themselves over by letting go of Kirk Cousins, and the Chiefs screw themselves over because now they don't have a quarterback. And the Broncos are going to end up being the clear winner because I do see Kirk Cousins going to Denver. Now, how does this affect the Texans? Well, the Texans have the Redskins and the Broncos on their schedule next season. When? I don't know, but all I know is that we play them next season. And, you know, when you look at the opponents prior to yesterday, you, know, you would see the Redskins and, you know, you'd assume that's an easy win because I was assuming Kirk Cousins was, wasn't going to go back, but now at least they got Alex Smith. I mean, the Redskins aren't going to be a playoff team, but they're going to be a decent team for like the next three years while Alex Smith sticks around. So, the Redskins aren't going to be a pushover anymore because they're guaranteed to have quarterback next season and the Broncos, another team. That we're playing next season was a team that was pretty much a guaranteed win. But now with Kirk Cousins, or I'm assuming they're going to have Kirk Cousins. They're a pretty tough team to beat. And Kansas City, a team we play almost every year except this upcoming year. Because, you know, everyone got hurt for the Texans. But, odds are we were going to play them in the playoffs again. But now they're out of the playoff race. Because now they don't have a quarterback. So that's how it affects the Texans. The Texans schedule just got a little bit harder, but I don't think there's anything Deshaun Watson can't handle. Well, those are really my thoughts on the whole trade that went down last night. I mean, nothing's well, it's not official till like March something, like when the new league year starts. So if the Redskins actually want to be smart, they'd probably back out of the trade, but I highly doubt it. They're, they're a stupid franchise and. For all the people that talk shit about the Texans being a stupid franchise. Look at the Chiefs. Look at the Redskins. They just traded away their franchise quarterback. So, that's a stupid franchise. Anyways, that's all I really have for you guys today. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.